Oh, what the hell is that? There is blood on the ceiling, bro. Dude. Oh my god, dude. Bro, it looks like snot or something. Go chill! Hey, dude, what's up? What is up, fam? My name is Omar. Welcome to another adventure. I'm joined with my friend Al Capone. Be wow. sure to check out his channel. Link will be down below in the description. Today, I'm doing something really, really different. I've been wanting to do a video like this for a really long time. A couple of YouTubers have done this before. My friend Brian, aka Phase Rug, has done a video similar to this. So I figured, hey, there's got to be somewhere interesting in my hometown that has some pretty crappy reviews when it comes to their hotel. I'm not going to mention their name, but this is a real place with real reviews. We're going to pass our own judgment. We're going to go in open-minded. We want to definitely help this place out. I mean, maybe they've changed. I know yep. that if I got some pretty crappy reviews online, I would do something about it, maybe yeah. change my staff, clean up my rooms a little bit better, but I don't know. Some of these reviews are pretty recent. So this was just five days ago. It said room was filthy, roaches everywhere, <laughs> staff very rude and lazy, only hot or cold water for showers. Wait only hot or, or cold. cold okay i guess you just don't have a choice it could be either cold or hot two dirty towels were given no wi-fi or housekeeping place should be condemned very nasty never again this one just two weeks ago says no hell no as soon as we walked in there were roaches on the bed oh, oh man the pillowcases were so stained it looked like they had never been washed the blankets had burn holes and we're absolutely disgusting. My husband and I refused to even set our belongings down and walked out. Completely disgusting and unbelievable. Never again. So these people paid for their room and didn't even stay there. That was two weeks ago, huh? This place is a dump. My room smelled like cat pee and the carpet was stained. And check this out. It said someone was able to accidentally enter my room with another key card. I was very disappointed. I viewed the room when then checked out another person there were clothing hanging over the balcony people hanging out in front of the rooms and it looked like drug deals were going on this place should be condemned <laughs> if you stay here see a doctor later i guess they feel like they needed a tetanus shot after walking into the room this place sounds like our kind of place okay we're gonna go check it out hopefully these Dude. reviews are wrong <laughs> these reviews oh there's some imagine. more a uh, dirty room, bugs, mold, no AC, best drug deals in town. <laughs> We're staying up on the second floor. Um, I believe this is, yeah, it's right here. I've never seen this before. I, I could see the curtains inside of the AC right there. Are you ready? Ready. All right. Hopefully this works. Oh, there we go. Green, let's go. Oh, it actually looks pretty nice. Yeah, it does. If you wanted to lock the door, like, would that work? Doesn't it need something? Yeah, it definitely needs something. Okay, yeah. Now, stepping in here, the room doesn't look too bad, but it's when you start to dig into stuff. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> so... There are holes in the bed, just like the reviews say. Those are burn marks, yeah. Yeah, it's not. Well, shut up the bathroom. Bad. That's the main thing. You know, if you got a dirty bathroom. Yeah. That, that's usually a good sign. Oh, what is this? Look like a dead spider on the wall. Oh my god, bro. I mean, I, I've stayed at worse. Dude, there's something wet in the bathtub. Wet. What? Damn, bro, they cheap as hell. Is this all the toilet paper you get? What the <laughs> hell? Wait, is there another roll of toilet paper somewhere? Is there towels in here? Uh. Is that? What is that? Is that a... Yep, there's towels. That one looks like it was used. Now, I did read a review where it says the towels give a rash. Someone got a rash from oh, the towels. Oh, nah, man. There's something on the side right here, the toilet. What is bro, that? Bro, no. That looks like a turd, bro. It does look like a turd. Hell no. What, wait, what is... I am telling you, there's bathtub? something wet right there. Look this at this brown. This place is filthy. What is that? Is that some bugs? I don't know. Yeah, it does look like a bug. Bro, you know what? That looks like somebody stepped in like a dog turd. That's Maybe. what it could be. 
Well, why wouldn't they clean that? It says it's something about the refrigerator not working, so. Let me see. Oh, look! They got complimentary water. Bro, that's probably left behind by someone. It's open, It's cold. Dude. It's open, isn't it? It's cold. That is nasty. It's complimentary. All right, 50 bucks if you take a sip. <laughs> Bro, you don't think you could get like STDs or something or herpes from sipping off that? Well, here's the thing. It has been in the fridge. Yeah. I don't know, $50, man. bro. Cash out it to you uh, right now. 50 bucks. Just uh, one swig. Oh, no, man. You could swallow it quick. Oh, I'm, I'm going to clean the top. How about that? Oh, man, he's cheating. What if this isn't water? What if it's like vodka? It could be. I don't know if that's water or smoke. Oh, it does smell funky as heck, bro. It smells funky. Uh, 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 uh. I can't believe it, dude. I can't believe it, bro. Mm -hmm. You just made 50 bucks. I follow it. Is it water? <laughs> Ew, oh my god. Okay. We have towels. We have look. I didn't swallow. We'll clean up for them. You can keep your fifty dollars, bro. I ain't swallowing that. No, nah, you you earn fifty bucks for that. That fifty bucks will help your uh, clinic cost for the walk-in clinic. I actually feel bad for doing that because this place is sparkling clean. Yes. Hey, actually, this might help. I should probably clean that dog to you. That's Man. probably not dog to you. I don't know. It's you know some what? kind of doo doo. It's brown and it's by the toilet. Oh, what the hell is that? There is blood on the ceiling, bro. Blood on the ceiling. That's what blood looks like. Yeah, it's brown, man. Right? It's like, it's, it doesn't look like paint. I mean, unless it's mold. My fiance is a housekeeper. Right. And she does help me with cleaning my Airbnb. She does a great job. Anytime we stay somewhere, she picks apart people's, up, people's cleaning. Like, she, if I brought her here, she wouldn't even have came in here. So I'm guessing she's a, a knee freak. A germaphobic. No, I mean, not, not necessarily a neat freak, but she knows how to clean very, very good. So and she knows how to check for bed bugs. When I she went to the clown cottage, almost clown cottage, you did. So I busted out the black light, and it was sparkling clean. There was Couldn't none. find nothing. Oh, I didn't know you did that. Yeah, I, I haven't seen that. that video yet. Couldn't find nothing. It was sparkling clean. Just Dang, clean see? Out. Thanks to Tiffany. This is how you check for bed bugs. Um. Let me see. We're going to turn the light on. This mattress actually looks pretty nice. So you uh, you open up this like that. And you'll see them under here. So... Oh, there's stains, bro. Is there? I didn't see any over here. Brown stains. Brown stains? Oh, it stinks, dude. What? Like what? I don't know. I just got a whiff of something. Ew! Is that a bed bug? Uh, nah. No bed bugs. I don't see. Wait. I don't know what that is. Let's look under here. That's how they run under here, like that. Is there, what is that? Oh, no. what the f Sorry, bro. Oh I'm so God. sorry. I'm now so he sorry. Has gloves on. I tried putting my gloves on. Hey, look, you get to keep your 50 bucks for that, okay? Yeah, I'll definitely keep my 50 bucks. All right. For my medical costs, uh, bro, what else? What else are we gonna find under here? Uh, you know, I mean, this bed ain't that bad. It doesn't look. Oh, I'm busting out the black light. That's, that's the yeah. Because we can't see everything. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. What is that? You don't think that's like some cleaning stuff? No, it's orange, so no. Body fluids usually come back orange and yellow. Why don't you put it up at the ceiling? Like, still orange. Yeah. It, I don't know, it's still showing up as like. That's definitely blood, there's no doubt about that. I've never done this before. It was actually fun. Yeah, forensics uses this. There's a stain there's right there. Right there. Yeah, 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 okay. What the hell is that? That's disgusting. Oh, Color right there, right there. Showed some at the tip. There's something right there. Oh, there's stains on the floor. Dude, look at the stains on the floor right there. That looks like blood. Oh, that looks. It like does blood. Look, look like blood. Look over there. Holy.
Dude, looks like a little trail. Okay, I think the color of the object plays What about the bathtub? That's disgusting. That right there looks like bodily fluids. Ew. Bro, this is disgusting. You know, this is not even a really ugly looking hotel. It just needs to be clean. Yeah, that's it. Ooh, look at the vent, dude. Oh, wow. Yeah, look. Looks like someone spit on it or something. There's stuff all over it. Look at all that. You don't think that's like paint or something? No. That light's messing with me. The black light is definitely blood, how it's appearing. What about the dude, pool? look at this. It looks like a, a footprint of blood. Bro, somebody just tried to open the door. You see Sound like it. I don't know. Maybe it was just the wind. You know hotels are supposed to put out a brand new roll every time? Yeah. That's actually disgusting. You're using someone else's used toilet paper already <laughs> that, that they've been gross. touching. That's a burn hole. Yeah, it is a burn hole. Yeah. Oh my god, right there, there's a stain. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Looks like it could have been blood. Oh my god, yeah. dude. Bro, it looks like snot or something. <laughs> Did you look inside the drawers? Oh, what's this? Oh, dude, that's Is so that gross. No, it's, it's somebody like ashed in here. Look at that. They like ashed their cigarette in here. Oh my god, that was a rope. Nah, that's gross, bro. You might come to a hotel and think that it's pretty clean. At first glance, we walked up in here and we looked at each other and we're like, this, video's, clean, this video is going to suck. Because <laughs> the flooring looks like it's new, the paint kind of looks new. Ratings never lie though. Did you hire someone for your house that has a one star review? You know what I'm saying? Uh, You're nah. paying top dollar to get some work done? No. Nah. You know? If you have one or two trolls out there, that's understandable, but when you have multiple bad reviews over and over, then it becomes an actual problem. Here's the thing, man. The bed wasn't really that bad. I, I mean, even with the black light, it didn't really reveal much. I, I didn't found a condom. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of gross. But would I sleep here? I would sleep here. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I mean, if I found a condom, I wouldn't. I mean, I, <laughs> could you imagine if somebody would have slept here, and, or how many people have slept here mm -hmm. and not even seen that under there? That yeah, that could have been sitting Because there sometimes while. even when the housekeepers come, they don't they don't Bro, the housekeepers the don't even they don't even change the toilet paper though, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I mean they, they had to have changed these sheets though. Yeah, they did change the sheets. Now I wanna go back and see if you can see some of those stains we were seeing. Yeah, look. These are that's unacceptable. Like I'd be embarrassed to Especially if you're running a business. Have a guest. Like my Airbnbs, like if I see any stains on my on my stuff like that, like they're gone and I just get new ones. Oh, look at this, bro. What'd you find? I did find another, a stain. That looks like blood right there. Oh. Bro, are there any other rolls of toilet paper? Like, I'm legit shocked. The, oh, look, there's so much. No. Oh. What is this? Bro, you scared the shit out of me. Oh, I'm not touching that. You gotta look for yourself, dude. Another condom? Uh, better. Even better, bro. Bro, I might explain the blood on the ceiling. You don't see it? Oh, sure, you got gloves. I don't want to put my fingerprints on I'm not touching that. That's probably just somebody that was maybe living here. It was like maybe their protection yeah, or something. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, there's nothing under that one. No, that's fine. Bro, I can't believe that. I wouldn't touch it, though. I'm not going to put my fingerprints on that, bro. Yeah. I feel really dirty. I feel dirty and sick. I feel really dirty. And, you know, I'm... I know... What I did was really stupid. Like, taking a sip of that water. I mean, I didn't swallow it, but even just putting my lips like that, now that I'm thinking about it, like, I feel like bathing and maybe gargling with hand sanitizer. Yeah, they used condom hit me in the arm, and I'm thinking about going uh, to the walk-in Bro, I'm, I am so sorry it's about that. Right, I don't know, I, 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 don't, I really don't know what I was thinking. I just, <laughs> I don't know, I just wanted to throw it towards you. But I didn't want it to hit you, if that made any sense. I'm sorry, I'm sorry it hit you. No, you're good. But yeah, this place is really dusty. So, let's, let's, let's go over our overall reviews. What would you say your opinion is on this place? Because um, there's blood splatters, the condom. I think it's more of the, the upkeep. You know, I, I blame- It's a dirty place. It's a dirty place. It's, 
I don't think I think it deserves at least two or three stars. Like maybe not one star. Two at the most. I think you know Doesn't this place has potential because they have what I read. They remodeled and this looks like new floor. Yeah, this does look pretty new in here. So it's not like in the greatest neighborhood. Um, no. Right before we opened the door a second ago, there was this guy yelling at some. Ki you know what? I'm just gonna share the clip with you. But yeah, this guy was yelling at some kids. I think they may have broken into his car. That happened right outside of our room. So I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you now. I got it on video, but this this guy came up to us and he was like, I, I heard you were talking about me or something. And we're like, nah, man, like we're not talking about you. And I don't know. We were holding cameras. Maybe they thought we were I think cops or something. Cops. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of sketchy stuff going on in this area. So I we're not cops, promise. We're not cops. And we're not what? snitches. Undercover cops is a normal thing in this hotel because there's a lot of drug dealing from out of here. So Great. all the time is undercover cops. We just made ourselves targets. And we're targets because we got cameras and we're we well dressed. Apart. We look apart. We got nice cars. He pulls up with a Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> a police Tesla undercover. Hey, my Tesla's got cameras on it, so I That's good. I might catch I definitely checked that footage afterwards. Yeah. Because we heard yelling not too long ago. Down we did, yeah, we did. Where are your gloves at? Okay, so my gloves, long story, I tried putting them on and they ripped. Ah, uh, no. I guess I got bad hands. I feel like I have to put hand sanitizer on the actual gloves. I know what you're thinking. Like, hey, Omar, I thought you said that you would sleep in that bed. I would if I had to. But I don't know. What? Hello? Hello? Who's there? You good? What's up, man? Sarah. Who? Sarah. There's nobody named Sarah here. Dude, chill. There's nobody in here named Sarah. Dude, I. I got you. I'm gonna open the door, but chill, okay? All right, stand like three feet back, okay? I'm gonna open the door. I'm gonna show you the, dude, chill. Relax, we're about to open it. I'm gonna open the door. Stand three feet back, please. I got your back, bro. Look, there's nobody in here named Sarah. Look, my name is Omar. This is my friend, Al. I'm Alex. Okay. Nobody's in here. That's dude. all fine. Dude, dude chill. Dude, what's up, man? Dude, back whoa, up, whoa, man. whoa, hey. Bro, there is no Sarah in here. Go ahead, look around. Dude, there is there is nobody in here by that name. Bro, there's no reason to have a knife right now, brother. Hey, can you put that knife down, dude? I'm gonna put a knife down, man. I thought Sarah was... I saw her come up here. What the fuck, man? No, there's no Sarah. There's no Sarah I, I promise you, there is no Sarah that has been in here. Well, I apologize for anything I did, man. I really do. That's, that's um, all right, man. People make mistakes. You know what, bro? I, I accept your apology, but you can't be doing that, dude. Forging <laughs> into people's rooms with blades, man. You can't do that. All right, fam. So as crazy and intense as that last moment was, we actually made good friends with this gentleman. I'm not going to mention his name. Guess he had a little bit too much to drink. Started crying. I turned off my camera and I, you know, I didn't want to embarrass him. I uh, started asking questions as to why we were even holding cameras. Then he started telling me his life story, how he was a construction worker at one point and COVID kind of ruined his work. He ended up losing his truck, becoming semi-homeless, and he's been living in this hotel. When I told him why we had cameras and what we were filming, he immediately became intrigued and wanted to share with us his room. What's wrong with my room? I pay $45 a night. Bro, this room is way worse than ours. Like, why were we even complaining? There is a backboard, but in order to access the backboard... <laughs> oh, it's back there. <laughs> You gotta go behind the bed. And what the, the hell? Where's the backboard? Dude. You're what? No, notice. Um, you're missing part of the ceiling in the bathroom. Oh no, that got pulled out yesterday. Bro, is that blood on the wall? What is I that? I don't know what that is. 
But hey, got some exposed wires. Hey, if you want to talk about possible sh on the door, no, no, bro. Oh I'm my so goodness, sorry. man, there's a poopy butt in the fucking house. Oh, bro, man. look at that all over. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Now, now, check this out. Oh, this room is terrible. What? Oh, dang, brother. Yeah, 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 this is this is worse than ours for sure. Maybe. Ours is a little remodeled. And what do you oh. pay? What'd you say you pay? Um, well, is that like hair color or something? I don't like know. Hair dye. Bro, this is terrible. Whoa, I, I, what think, I think. Look at this vent. Yeah. Uh, oh, dude, that's not good for your lungs, bro. Uh, I think I think Pink got caught up in here sometime or another. Yeah, that's a. Uh, you know the musician color. Pink. Yo, what the hell? Don't put your hand under there. Well, yeah. see this right here? Uh, that's supposed to be a firewall. Well, that's all rotted out for fucking water leaks and shit. Well over 300 pounds worth of material, screws, um, machine, uh, power tools, batteries, everything. Right. This is that's my cool you got. Presser. I have got nail tools. guns. And so he didn't say a whole lot. I, I guess he had a girlfriend, and he thought he seen her go upstairs, which I think maybe she did. She just didn't come into my room. He was very embarrassed. After we talked a good amount of time together, some of the locals there became very, very uncomfortable. They saw us holding cameras, of course, and we're wearing masks, got gloves on, definitely don't fit in. We're dressed, you know, pretty clean. And, and they thought that we were cops, maybe trying to get him to tell us who's doing drugs there so does this place live up to the reputation of what the reviews say i would have to agree in fact i mean i haven't been to a lot of bad reviewed hotels but so far this one in my opinion is probably the worst hotel that i've ever seen in my life probably the worst in the world and i'm gonna probably call this video that the absolute worst hotel in the world i hear the owners are really nice people that's why i'm not gonna mention their names at all or where their hotel is at i hope they get it together I hope they, they clean their place up maybe they could you know see this video and and see the evidence i mean this is like real stuff that happens i mean we just went one night so you can imagine like all the crazy stuff that happens i mean I, we weren't there but I mean, yeah, we were, we were there a couple hours. I mean, maybe three and a half hours we were there. A lot of people yelling at each other outside. I mean, people stealing from people's cars, somebody banging on my door. I probably shouldn't have opened the door to him. And you may ask the question, hey, Omar, how come you didn't tackle the guy? I mean, the guy had a knife. Let's just start there. I mean, if somebody has a weapon, you leave him alone. He just wanted to go in there and confirm that his girlfriend, whoever this Sarah lady was, was not in our room. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see me do more of them, maybe I'll go to another really bad reviewed hotel. Thank you so much for watching. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me keys.